welcome to politics watch this is Abby. now uh iron man parish has surpassed the extremely uh, disastrous number of 100 per 100k murders that's a murder rate the 100 per 100k is disaster number el salvador saw this figure nationally there are countries all over the world that you know they might have a city right we can do this when they say a country do it right you know say it's serious el salvador managed that back in the day different countries call things different in america them say state mexico them say state in the iron man is parish for context the city that frequently hits the 100 per 100 k mark right is tijuana in mexico Tijuana, you should know, a badman place. More like madman place. It's a very strategic location for the Mexican cartels and the violence they saw in an armor. Over 100 or 100k on the regular. But Tijuana is a city inside of a state. Right? The state is known as Baja California. The state average around 70 odd per 100k. So you know, say, it's dangerous. The thing about Mexico is it have like a few places that are extremely destructive, right? You know, the cartel home base them, right? You know, you have Sinaloa, right? Jalisco, right? Tijuana or Baja California. But then the rest of Mexico, right, is really, really calm. So it balances out. That is why Mexico on top murder charts globally so when it's looked at at the national level mexico don't compete with like trinidad or ironman but when it comes down to the individual cities right then mexico's murder rate is astonishing as we said that they place them for the cartel quote unquote lock off so tier one over 100 per 100k and baja california with tier one inner 73 per 100k well an Ironman parish is now in that elite acidic group 100 per 100k and it's not the first time this parish did this they done it before 2015 for example according to jcf data right because they're sure Murders to the whole year now. We can see, say, say, for 2022, there were 1,498 murders in Ironman. 1,498. Just shot of 1,500. That's a 2% increase compared to last year. One division, one parish, and 100. And 98 murders. This is the parish that has surpassed the 100 per 100k mark. Which parish is it? Which parish is rubbing shoulders with the most dangerous places on earth? The most dangerous cities on earth? St. James. Based on the population of St. James, and the amount of murders, it work out that the murder rate is 107 per 100k, making St. James one of the most dangerous places on earth. For locals, that is, but to put asterisk for locals, right? we know say St. James actually have a booming tourism industry, right? and 87s don't trouble them. Right? So I have to put this out there. It's for locals. Mr. Billy Joe, Mr. Gwinnett, this does not apply to you. Unless you go Ironman, go around and some back clean, go and do some kind of deal you know to do, you are perfectly fine. Enjoy the sunshine and enjoy chicken. Right? But for locals, 107 per 100k. That is an extraordinary figure. As me say, we see them kind of nobody. 
You can't even look at Mexican states. You can't even look at Baja California. You have to go down to the city then. You have to go down to like Tijuana. Iron Man is rubbing shoulders. Or a parish in Iron Man is rubbing shoulders with the worst at worst. Westmoreland narrowly miss out on the 100 per 100k. 97 per 100k. Westmoreland, this is a parish that used to see 15 murders annually. No Westmoreland is in the company of some of the most dangerous places on earth. Westmoreland, I still don't think Jamaicans realize right, how disastrous it is that Westmoreland is so far up on this list. Right. I don't understand how Jamaicans are so accepting of the fact that Westmoreland right, is now one of the most murderous places that is in Ironman but have one of the highest murder rates in the whole world. 97 for 100k. That is why when time when they see a place a creep up and in the twenties, thirties and so it's, it's not that bad. It's not like West Kingston. So as I said before, fourteen hundred and ninety-eight murders for Ironman. Believe it or not, Ironman has seen much worse. Even as far back as I think it was two thousand and five, somewhere around there, Ironman saw over sixteen hundred murders. And that range is the worst we've seen, right? The sixteen hundreds. That's as bad as Iron Man ever get. Hopefully, we'll never see 1600 again. Oh, and by the way, remember I was telling you about Trinidad and Tobago and saying this year they are likely to hit 600 murders, which will be their worst year in history? Well, they managed to reach 600. So, 2022 was the worst year in history for murders for Trinidad and Tobago. Iron Man, right? 1498, terrible, but we've seen worse. But I'm telling you, say, 2023, right, that is the year we're looking forward to. We still see about three to four more accidents, say, right, over pass. But the two main ones, them, in my opinion, where we really want to see them figure out is Bail Act and the new updated Correction Act. For the video end, more I'm telling about another country in the region. This country, right, carried out an experiment that it was celebrated by, you know, your favorite scholars. No South American countries, no Latin American countries. Them love work out truce and treaty with gangs. When things get hot, them start work out treaty. As the video before shown in El Salvador, them they make a treaty with gangs and the gangs them cool, right? at least on paper. Right? Numbers them start going down. But when they start looking beyond the surface, the gangs are doing things like burying the bodies so you can't count them as murder um, initially because you, know, so you have to wait a while. Right? They were using all kinds of tactics. They were still killing, but because they signed the treaty with the government and they want to look bad, they want to make it look like so they might keep up for them in the bargain. Right? They were doing all kinds of things. Then they find out, say, murder still a gone, treaty get take away. Finally, El Salvador decides to them done the treaty with gangs. The gangs them respond by killing more because they want to get by the treaty. The government said, no, we're not giving the treaty. And then get even rough upon the gang them, and now they see El Salvador having results. Well, and El Salvador might talk about today. Today, I'm talking about Ecuador. They legalize some of them gang them. Yes, legalize the gangs. This was because the scholars tell them, say, you know, gangs, you know, if you just give them the inclusion, and the social inclusion, then you know, they might go behave themselves because you know, once you give them you know, legal status, then they can work with them legally. So, for example, you know, all your favorite politician is a link with, like, you know, a Dan, like Zeke, or Dodos, you know, backhanded or under the table and all kinds of things. Them say legalize all of that, take taxpayers' money, give it to the gangs, then the gangs will do this, and because they're now included in the process, then crime will go drop. 
When them legalized the gang them, murders did fall. Because now the gang is basically right its own business, right? They don't make money, gang don't make money, them see murders drop. At first it was hailed as a major success to proceed. Murders done in Ecuador. Right? Murder rate of fall, gangs them now war like one time. But guess what happened? All them that do was make bad man cool. This year, Ecuador just witnessed them highest murder rate in decades, even worse than it was before them legalized the gangs. You see, now that the gangs are illegal, they have certain benefits, they have certain rights. So the security forces the government can just run in upon them again, right? It's a legal institution. So the gangs them cool off of the murder, made legal money, rearmed themselves, retrain themselves because remember they're legal. Imagine clansmen having legal status like a security company where them can send some man go train over yes, send some man go train over yes, and this is done legally. All of this was being done right with no pressure from the government. Them see a group of men from a gang like Latin Kings said them go over yes, go get training, they don't know if to shoot better, get better weapons improve them skills and this was fine because they are a legal organization so at first murders drop and they were celebrating the fact that murders drop ignoring the bigger picture that ecuador gangs right were getting better and more sophisticated well they're back with a vengeance now because all of the gang let me go off for train and get better get smarter no. They are now back at war and the murder rate gone past what it was before they legalized them. So now politicians right, I try to take back certain things and take back certain things and you know, take back the status yeah, and take back, take back the local privilege. Yeah. Take back, it's too late. It's too late. You have gangs, right? They're on range and learn to shoot legally. Waiting my practice for shoot. Bird? Making bad man cool and signing treaty and choose bad man. Has never worked and never will. This is what happens when a favorite scholars underestimate how cunning gangs can be. You come to me with your deal. Oh, you wanna legalize my gang? What you say? Right. Cool out? Yeah man, sure. Yo, tell the one of the killer killer them say oh for ease off of the war. Where we will get legal status, right, legal training, legal money, right? Police not pressure we get the school long for the cookie. You man easy. Right, we we'll go and buy the gun them still, go and buy the shot them still. Come up bigger and better. Anyway, Patreon Squad, big up on yourself. PIA, I don't know, more live. Patreon Squad, see a circling. Bless.